All right, guys. Can't think of anything else I haven't fucked with. Apparently, other than I'm supposed to eat these umbilical cords. And go back to Nightmare of Mensis and continue the game. I remember that spider, but I've already checked him twice. I don't think I can do anything with him. But I'll look up the lore after I finish the game. Um, definitely finish the DLC. All right, let's do it. Let's jump right into it. <clears throat> oh, just show me offline. Okay, live. Excellent. Excellent. Party time. I remember there are two ways to get to the nightmare. Both were wait, were there? Maybe. Or there were two different nightmares, maybe? Nightmare of Frontier and Nightmare of Mensis. But they both came from inside the lecture hall thing. Oh yeah, this was not fun as well. Jesus. Okay, we're gonna teleport back and increase our um frenzy resistance. Damn, if that hit, I was going to laugh. It might still hit, actually, given Dark Souls rules. <clears throat> might still hit. No, I'm good. Fifteen percent stamina, ten percent stamina. Well, good, I close. So that can change to... Renzi resistance plus 200. That's the highest there is. That's already a ton more. Now, how many sedatives do I have? 20, and I'm just supposed to buy more. <laughs> 4,000. Mm, lame. Oh, well, I must have drifted off. You felt like standing up? What is it you desire? Good hunter. Your presence, presence somehow, somehow soothes. soothes. I sense the ancient. Farewell, good me. Yeah, lecture building. And they have ways that they lead outside. Which one of them led to this? <clears throat> um. Um, leads to this lantern pretty quickly before I got spiked by continuous bullshit. Now, this is crazy. Is this the way I came from? I think this is the way I came from since I saw items in the other direction. Bell ringing woman. What the hell? Oh, he's wormies on him. These fuckers take three hits? What a dick. Yeah, I think this leads back inside the lecture hall. I think this is where I came from. Oh, that baby crying again. This fucking lore shit. I don't know. Uh, it's inside the lecture hall, or it's... What? Or it's the outdoor area. Oh, yeah, I guess you do kind of get teleported. Okay, we're good. What's up, Laslaw? Fall asleep standing up. Don't join... Don't judge me. Don't join me. <clears throat> Pretty weird. Ooh. Tree. Da -cha. Oh, it says beware of light, stealth is effective. Pick up the item, dumbass. Oh, 
Oh, it's hitting him too. Uh, I just fell off. Fuck. Owie. I did my first Chalice Ritual in Chalice Dungeon off stream. It was a super basic baby boy one, like mega easy. Even the boss, I killed in like five hits, all the bosses. But uh, pretty interesting system. Definitely unlike other Souls games. Get the fuck off me. Oh, he's got the spike sticking out of him too, that's kinda cool. Oh wow, this guy went on the ground. Don't mind me, I'm just eating this fucking frenzy damage. So it really is just this light coming from that tower. That's crazy. Maybe there's a specific enemy or boss I need to kill in there. Let's see if there's anything over to the left here. This like leads to the building. Shit. Maybe I should have gone the other way first. Oh, the giant dudes. No! Come on, man. I run out of stamina at the worst fucking time. Right after I get frenzied and I can't hit him. That's funny that it affects them. Um. One more hit, and then I was swinging the wrong direction. That was... Uh, try going left first, even though my souls will be lost. Oh, I almost fully healed from that shit. Come on, I was stepped away. at me. Oh, more giants maybe? Fuck. It isn't hitting me over here though, it must be an angle. The building can't see me. Oh, come on, get the fuck.
Let's give a good amount of souls for blood echoes. Spideys. Reeks of insects. The woman waits ahead. Do not fuck with me. I know they fuck with me. Maybe they all come down at once. Got him. Easy peasy. Spidey boys. Spidey men. Shaman bone blade. Is that the thing that turns people on each other, I think? Slash foes to make them lose their sense of direction. Blade of bone coated with gruesome spinal fluid. Used by old Labyrinth Watchers, in particular those presiding over rituals. When a victim is cut by this blade, the green spinal fluid temporarily numbs the senses, disturbing the target's gross motor skills. These, the blade, never intended for battle, must cut deep to be effective, and breaks. I thought it made them fight each other or something. Just accept nightmares. Lead anywhere? Put my head up there real quick. Nope, just the wall. Big moon. Moon doesn't look blood red anymore, though. All these fucking dead, dead ghosts of people. Except I'm OP from the DLC shit. Damn, he does a lot of damage, though. I'm level fucking 90, which is pretty high. It's a bloodstone.
Oh, little, little killed ones. Little daggers on them. Something's trying to run after me. Backbones, that child switch item. No. Oh, wait, they'd be here. Yep. All right. Head look weird. Do we have a helmet on? Safe place weights ahead. Fold through in the right place, therefore, place waits ahead. Time for footing elevator of some kind. Oh, what do you know? Right under the glowing building. There's a lot bigger area down there. And a couple big men too. And items. Looks like death. <laughs> yep. We have ambush. <gasps> or it's death too? Okay, weird. helmets off his head so we can see maybe with a different kind of helmet oh come on owie oh this bow should kill me nope I'm alive bye sucker 
Come back. I'll come back and kill you. Don't worry. Don't worry, Miss Romanov. I'll big boy myself. Where are malformed things? What? Oh. Oh my gosh! Ewy! It's a doggy crow! Excuse me. Ah, bah, bah. We've been chilling. We're just having some dinner. Oh, despicable monster. Edward. Oh, there's a real doggy. Too. Oh my God! It's a doggy with a crow's head. Some creepy ass shit over here. Some experimental shit. I'm gonna let you live because you never attacked me. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe he dropped some special item or some shit. So creepy, it's got a thin little beak. What the fuck? Dog crow homunculus. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I gotta repair my fucking weapon. That's okay, I was gonna go back and, uh... Wait, what? Where are all these buttons? Oh, it's like up and down, okay. I was gonna go back and repair, or uh, buy a bunch of he heals anyway. And I guess now is a good time to, because of this. Is this where I already was? Oh. Yeah, I think this is where I first stepped outside. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's cool. And does it even lead anywhere? There's a bridge. This is the bridge I, bridge I had trouble crossing before. Goodbye. Are my blood echoes over here? I think they are, actually. There he is. Why am I switching targets like an idiot? Oh, so I've so I've technically explored both directions then. I more echoes from uh, more items from slain enemies. Okay, cool. So I I literally have already gone this way, so I don't need to fuck around. So I'm good. I've gone both directions, technically. I can continue exploring.
I could level up. I told myself I don't need to. 114. Fuck it. Won't have to farm anymore. Murgo's Loft Base. Oh, I need to repair my weapon. God damn it, I'm stupid. And is this another shortcut that goes up? Probably so. my pebbles. <laughs> wow, almost exactly the perfect right amount. Also, I feel like I should fucking... This to level ten. Yeah, daddy. If there was a low ground where I came from. Oh god, baby. Like the strong foes. This floor looks weird. Oh yeah, I was gonna go back and kill that guy. Revenge. Uh. <coughs> Excuse me. That was a normal elevator. Oh, it was like they were feeding off this one, but he wasn't dead. That's so weird. That makes me uncomfy. 
Yes, prepare to meet your maker, Batman, and multiple bow guys that I might die to. I do kind of have a lot of health. Oh, I don't have it fucking dual mode. No wonder my swings are so weird. Do you have a big man that I already killed? Goodbye. So webby. Broken through. What the fuck happened to this place? Came down from his cage to attack me. Whatever. What the fuck? They move like little puppets. What? That last hit did a shit ton of damage, too. That cage is a helmet. <laughs> is that just a cutscene? Is this not a boss fight? He's talking about costs. I had orphan costs. Oh, here we go. Nicolash, host of the nightmare. This is a really weird boss arena. Clearly can control little big men. I'm gonna top off my health just in case, cause not weird. He's a puppet master. Some say Cosmo. Do you hear our prayers? One hit and he fucking disappears. The weird magic y boy. It's a big square with two stairs. What is that? Please carry on in my stead. Now I can go up another set of stairs. And he's making weird howling noises. My tummy's kind of upset for some reason. Oh, there he is. Oh, what do you know? Creepy music, I like. Fuck. Oh, 
Music is intense. I definitely like it. Oh, there's a few hits. Oh, is he dead? Probably just acting dead. His health bar disappeared, but he was only at half health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a weird boss situation. Oh, oh I stopped this shit early. I didn't want to do that. I want to hear him howling. Interesting. That's a far fall. We're not gonna cover that. Oh, but we are gonna fuck over here. through the mirror again. Oh, what? Music is intense. You no, know I want to do a plunging attack. All right, here we go. Ah! Oh, what the fuck? I hit him over there. This goes down, damn it, I wanted to go up. Let's go down to the side then. Oh, of course. 
Iron door key. I didn't think the big door was open. It was at the actual start of the house. Sounds like your big moan from the other day. Yeah, when I beat, um... Um... Orphan of Cause. So what's a locked door? Where's a locked door? Because I have a fucking key now. This is how I first came up, right? So I probably shouldn't go down here. like a fucking maze. There's a lantern over there, so maybe a ladder. Oh, this, this, ah, that's, this gets, this um, bridge gets raised up when I finish the fight. Oh, that's how someone died after they dropped down, because there's an actual portion of the fight here. goes up. Now, there were a couple items down low that I missed, but I'm not going to sweat it, because most of the time in Bloodborne, it's like bullets or healing or like usable items, you know? That was a pretty abnormal boss fight. Nice little mix-up, I guess. Wait, but I have a key that I technically never used. Let's read it. One of the three iron door key, one of the three great bridges that link the two cathedral cradles. This key opens the iron door that leads to the mid-level bridge. If there are no thieves in the nightmare, then why lock a door? Be warned, there must be a very, very good reason.
Should I even use my souls on? People were saying 50 is a stopping point for your skill, but I feel like I'm so overleveled to the end of the game. Very well, Let Not so overleveled, a little overleveled. Uh, 215 uh, blood vials. You'd love to see it. Those squishy sound effects. Fucking baby. Yep, the second shortcut. Oh! Or maybe that's a different one altogether, but... I just saw there's a place to roll off, so let's check it out. Oh, one of these guys? Fuck. What the... Probably still dead. I'm gonna go use the bathroom actually. Oh, my tummy's upset.
All right. You hear the music going, right? So it doesn't mean Dreamcast. Unless you have it muted. Alright, see if I can kill this dude. Oh, I'm at full health. That's seriously... Okay. So why did it put me at full health? And goddamn, he grabbed me again. What a dick. It was quiet for a bit. I guess I assume you can hear the main menu music. It is quiet, though. Fuck. Frenzy got me anyway. Fucking bitch. And seriously, the second time I spawned with no frenzy and with full health. If I could have just dodged a stupid grab. Why did it give me full health? I've never seen that happen before in a Dark Souls game. When I first quit to use the bathroom, I was a sliver of health. I'm gonna go down at this time and see if it leads to where I think it leads. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, I can see the, um... I can see the lantern. I have to kill it fast, but I can't let it grab me. I'm probably going to load in and just get frenzied and die again. Guess I can roll and use the sedative, maybe. Fuck, there's two more? I got an item.
Man, I killed myself. Ah! I need to be more patient. Be more patient. Just do it the right way. What the fuck? According to Wikipedia, casein is a family of related fast proteins. These proteins are commonly found in mammalian milk, comprising seeds. 80% of the proteins in cow's milk and between 20% and 60% of the proteins in human milk. Okay. My Google speaker was talking to me, I guess. I don't know why. Oh, that guy fell too. Or is that my death? No, he's got some weird weapons. R2, I was able to kill him. Still got frenzied. Interesting. Maybe the R2 has increased DPS. Fuck off! Look at these little spidey boys with faces. Kind of like what's his face? Patches. If these ones aren't as sentient. So, like, one experiment was intelligent, and the rest maybe are these. Fight that later, whatever the hell I just unleashed. I wonder if there's a way to go through without fighting that, without dropping it like I just did. Interesting. Oh, you can do it to me from way over there? What the fuck? Where am I? What the? I just want to progress. Why is it so annoying? Um, all right, I'll go left this time, I guess, and see what's over there. 
And if I feel satisfied, I'll go back and continue the way I was just going. Here, this left. We got samurai swords? Fuck. Get that weak shit out of here. Up there. Oh, it's a big fucking thing. Back jumping off the elevator, falling down here could lead somewhere. I fucking rolled, whatever. They got creepy eyes on them. These ones are even more fucked up. Even more fucked up. How did I miss? Okay. Lots of cold brew, wow. Oh, 
Oh shit, three of the samurai guys. God, nobody aggro's on that shit. Oh, they turned around and one guy aggroed. That's good. Ow. Punks. If I wasn't over leveled, yeah, that could have been hard. Oh, is it path down here now? Maybe that leads to the way I was gonna fall off. Lure is effective. 62,000. Wow, these guys give a lot of souls. Or right, blood echoes. Yeah. Up. Oh, we got some crazy boss fight finally. Yo, Seth goes blood vial. Huh. Nice. I think the lantern was right around here. There we go. There's so many souls. For blood echoes. So, falling down at the stairs and falling down now, let me stand close. at the <laughs> falling down on the elevator too. Mm. 
Nope, so just Maria's stuff. Okay. Oh no, this is... I already walked this way. Oh no, maybe I didn't... Water on the ground? No, maybe I didn't walk this way. Oh, this is just like a back way. Shit. Ow. This is the back way to where the ringing bell lady was, I think? Yeah. Wow, I fucking died to these guys after talking shit about them. Alright, so now all that I have left to do is go fuck with those frenzy ladies. And... Check out the lady in the white dress. I might attack her once. I don't even know what she is or what she does. Um, and then up that last elevator, which might be... Big boss? Big boss. There can only be one big boss, though. I can see a bridge, I can see the start of the Nightmare of Mensis. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that it matters, I'm just wasting time. What's up, girl? One of those nights where everyone's streaming. Yes. An endless, infinite entertainment. Pretty sure I'm at the very, very end of the game, too, so. Let's do it. Fucked it up just like I did. Alright, we're gonna run past these ladies this time. Hello, psych. They make the light, similar to the light that was frenzying me up from the tall building that I've kinda already reached, I think. 
so the power must be similar or something. Ow. So I was in here fucking with the spider human head boys. Oh, okay. How did I die here before? Oh, I activate that thing that makes the thing fall. Some weird creature down low that I don't even know what the fuck. Normal spiders. Ow. Why? There she is. Meanie head. I can't get over there, can I? Oh, I just have to run across this. Why don't you come over here, fool? Mm, I don't like it. God damn it, I drank the sedative too late, like a dumbass. Alright, here we go. Huh. Okay, we're okay. R2, I can kill with R2. I fire bell. Maybe it's a um chalice item. Oh invigorates all cooperating parties healing them. That's so cool. Special hunter tool of the choir, high ranking members of the church fashion. Special Hunter Tool of the Choir, high ranking members of the church. Fashioned after a bell that projects an arcane sound across planes of existence. The sound of this smaller silver version of the bell does not cross planes, but grants vigor and healing to all cooperators. That's awesome. That's awesome. Alright. Oh. What is that down below us? Is that a place we've been before? Yeah, that's where the spiders were first hanging, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. So that's all I needed to come over here for? Cool. We can advance. Oh, wait. No, here's a different path. Fuck. Right? Is this a different path? No, this is where I came from. Okay. I feel like I see items. No, this isn't where I came from. Where the fuck is this? I'm super confused. Some crunchy bones are scary. Does that connect? It does. It's a scourge of the scourge. Oh, that's where the thing fell. Where the weird chained up creature fell. I should have left that shit chained up. <laughs> Too. It might get me no, no I can't. Nothing but inquisitiveness. Inquisitiveness here. Inquisitiveness here. So many madman thoughts. Ooh. Big ball. Iron door key. Well, found a use for that. <laughs> Reminiscent of old labyrinth. Despicable old labyrinth. Is this where I fought that boss? Looks like it. So could I have gotten here a back way? Like, just, like, earlier? I'm fighting the boss? How are these guys still fucking alive? They must not have been connected to that guy. Speaking of, I never re looked at his helmet, did I? Hmm. 
Mensis Cage. School of Mensis controls the Unseen Village. This hexagonal iron cage suggests their strange ways. Cage is a vice that restrains the will of the self, allowing one to see the profane world for what it is. It also serves as an antenna that facilitates contacts with the Great Ones of the Dream, Jesus. But to an observer, an iron cage appears to be precisely what delivered them to their harrowing nightmare. Fucking bunch of weirdos. This shit interconnected. I possibly could have gone this path earlier. <gasps> I don't think I finished exploring there either. God fucking damn it. I wonder if I can figure out the back way though. door leading outside right near one of these ramps right near one of these foggy ramps back down the way I came but maybe that's it maybe it is back down Towards the earlier area. That would have made sense why I never saw it. And I had the key. Finished him off. What a weird boss. Quote unquote arena. Wait, what? pseudo dead ends anyway so yeah i have to go back down to the first area with these stairs that i fought that guy at Not that way Come on. Come, I hit him, dude. Oh my god. Got him. Okay, I got space. I got space. Got him. Jesus, that was weird. And cool that I never saw this. Moon waits ahead and literally it's a moon rune. Oh, so I have two moon runes now. Okay, so if I ever had to farm blood echoes, it would be much faster. That's cool. That is cool and useful. This is a fine note. This is a fine coat. Fine coat. Because like how my eyes were on the prize, I ran past enemies, ran past that first item. Because I know that little guy that doesn't really aggro, he just runs. They always have an item. Or like upgrade material items. 
and they eventually disappear just like the crystal lizards or whatever in Dark Souls. Alright. Right next to some stairs, but this place was kind of a square or multiple squares. Excuse me, did that get outside? No, excuse me. Remember key. Oh. <laughs> Remember key when I went way to him? Okay, so here's where I just was. And I pretty much finished exploring. Except there was a way to walk across to this middle area and possibly fall down into the middle area. Where I dropped that little. or that big chained creature. Aha! Scourge of the, the scourge of the scourge. Go so. Ooh, another blood rock, so I can max max out something. Sincerest thanks. Let's cleanse these foul streets. Definitely drop this creature, so I'm, I'm gonna give it a drop. You're in the know, right? Wait. Here's a path. Oh, and it drops down, damn it, but I can't get back up. Is that a place I went before? It looks like it, maybe. Oh, I wanna drop down. Is that a ledge? Or just. A curve of web. That's a curve of web. I'm going to do it anyway. Owie, I'm dead. I want to get down there, though. I want to fuck with that creature. Fuck with that creature. Fuck with me. So if Yefsefka's blood vial was here, that means she's involved in all this somehow, or was, yeah, was brought here or something. But I feel like she dead, though. She dead, though. Yeah, that was her clinic. She dead. guys in the middle okay cool If this does backtrack me to a bridge I've already been, then we've just about explored everywhere. So we'll go check out that dress lady again. And then, uh... Uh... Go up the final elevator. This looks like a place that I've been. Uh, yes. Alright, y'all, let's do it. Let's see what waits beyond.
Interesting. No souls, no nothing. We have seen guys whose heads are in cages before. Like, just like this. Oh. Uh-oh. Answers. Baby shit. What the fuck? Crow feather garb. Lady. Is that an invisible head? It looks... It doesn't look like a head, it looks like a... Mergo's wet nurse. This is a cool boss. Right. Roll fast enough. Yeah, it looks like an invisible head. Yeah, it looks like there is no head. Oh, creepy shit. What the... What? Fuck, man. Uh, I don't think I should have died there. Oh, each swing creates a new version of it. Okay. That was really cool, actually. Ah, I shouldn't have died there. Is the baby Mer Mergo or Nergo or whatever? Yeah, it looks like an invisible head. It looks like there's nothing. It's just like a cloak. But the cloak, like, like the hood, like, pops its head up. It's like, it's just like, er, er. No, what the? Okay. I don't know if that actually saves me time since this is right next to the bonfire or the lantern, but.
All right, let's fuck this dude up. That was kind of cool. Spinny boy. Which reminds me. Spin, spin, spin. I missed out the attacks. Oh, I stopped it. I stopped it from doing it. Hell yeah. What? Oh. I think so telegraphed. I don't like this. Oh, Nightmare Sling. That took a while. Third umbilical cord. Uh-oh. Alright, time to eat these bad boys. These tasty motherfuckers. And apparently I have like a British version or something. In American uh, American version, it's one-third of an umbilical cord. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. Used to gain insight and, so they say, eyes on the inside. Although no one remembers what that truly entails. Provost Willem, the Timothys, sought the cord in order to elevate his being and thoughts to those of the great one by lining his brain with eyes. The only choice he knew if a man were ever to match their greatness and that's the same description as the first one. Everyone loses child. Yeah. Am I at the... Am I at the Insight Max? I'm at 99. I'm gonna use one of the... Madman's knowledge. I am at the Max, so I almost wanna buy shit, but for now, I don't really care. Uh, did I miss it? Am I blind? Blind, Rise inside my brain. I don't think there's anywhere else to go. That's backward or to the hunter's dreams. Let's go to hunter's dream. Okay, that doesn't look good. Good hunter, you have come. Dawn will soon break. This night and this dream will end. Gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. Very well. Gammon.
four more damage I have to. Farewell, good. Unspeakable blood echoes. I have so many blood echoes in my inventory. 8, 16, 24, 32. I think I have 42,000 more. I could possibly level up twice. Easy peasy. Seven more. Five thousand, perfect. Gammon awake. Very well then. Farewell, good up me. Should I just buy Gascoigne's gear too? No, fuck Gascoigne. Kuyo level 10. What the fuck is the base of the tree? Is it the place in here where we've never been able to go? Oh yeah, I think this was locked. Ooh. Yep. I'm finished with the game. Big tree. Oh, it's this dude? The dude we talked to earlier in the game? Who was just chilling in his wheelchair? With a fucking peg leg, apparently? Huh. I did eat all three and built the cords, right? Yeah. Good hunter. You've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die. Forget the dream and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. Um, pretty sure I'm going to refuse. Dear, oh dear, what was it? The hunt, the blood, or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, all of a sudden now he's got cool fucking cape and fucking shit gun on his back. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up 
after these sorts of messes. Holy shit. Does he have a scythe? I've wanted a scythe all game long. Gammon joins the hunt. I've wanted a scythe! I've wanted my beautiful dexterity weapon. Oh, that hurt a little bit. Split into two or something? Or a gun and a little knife? Like just the blade of the scythe? See if I can parry him. It looked like it for a second. I don't know if it made the sound though. Yeah, get fucked. All right, but enough of that. I need to go back to my normal playstyle. Shit. Oh shit. I was on him before he did that. I mean, whatever he's doing, if he's just gonna let me kill you. I mean, that almost killed me if I wasn't super high level dopeness. He probably does a lot more damage, too bad he's dead. I'll have to watch a video on what he does in that mode. Pray slaughter. Old Hunter badge. Oh, does that mean I can buy his scythe or his clothes? What the fuck? Is this from the umbilical cords? Or whatever the umbilical, the ending, special ending? Come, my love. Come give me a big hug. Inside my brain are eyes. Yes. What the hell? I changed my mind. It tried to eat me, but I taste bad. I found his his uh, offer acceptable, but he didn't like it. Moon present. This is cool. This is like an old one, but like a smaller, slightly more humanoid version, but with then ten tentacles coming out of it. I need to do a better job at getting behind him. There we go. I do so much damage. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Oh, that did a lot of damage. That did like 60% damage. Ah, we so did that. There we go. Visceral attack. He's like dead, but I'm gonna heal up. Nightmare Slain. Prey Slaughter, Nightmare Slain. It's raining blood, do we? He did do the squish face. The blood rain stopped the fire. Yeah, yeah, stop the fire. 
Are you cold? <laughs> oh, good hunter. Hidetaka Miyazaki. We did it, boys. I'm so a little confused. There's just so much, so many different things to consider. Like, great ones are basically gods or cosmic beings, maybe. But then there's like fishy tentacle beings, and then there's human experiments of trying to make one thing or the other thing. I just need, I just need like 10, a good, good little 10 hours of lore videos, and, and I'll be set. Good ass music though. I'm trying to figure out what that wad of meat creature chained up was that I pulled that lever and dropped it into the abyss. Lever drop, that might be good. It Brain of Mensis. Oh man, was it another fight? Son of a bitch. Oh, it's an enemy. Any resembling a giant brain with various eyes and some beastly limbs. It's in. Ooh, creepy music. First encountered from a distant tower at the beginning of Nightmare Mensis. Will glow orange in the. Oh! So that's what was doing frenzy damage to me. So by, by dropping it, it no longer did frenzy damage to me and glowed orange when I was out in the open. So after you beat the Mikalash boss, the player can defeat it by using a lever inside the area, dropping the brain into a pit, or will be unable to attack the player further. But can you actually fight it? Oh, def just defeat it by using a lever. Okay, maybe you can't fight it. No, maybe you can. Hold on. There's a body holding blood rocks. That That's where I thought the abyss hole was. Enter the building with Murgo's attendants. Go to the bottom floor with the holes in the ground. And ride the birdcage over, located on the right side. You enter a pitch black room where the brain immense is now helpless and easy to kill. Before attacking the brain, use the make contact gesture in front of it. Until your character's arms rotate. And you will receive a tier 3 Moon Carol rune. Hey, Lainey, do you hear that? Are you here still? So 
So remember that gesture that we thought might do something where like you put one arm up and one arm to the side? Um, make contact gesture, playing Skyrim job. Um, we thought that that was like making contact with space creatures, whatever. This brain chain thing that I dropped into that hole, apparently if you go down there and before you kill it, you do that gesture, it gives you a moon rune, the one that gives you um, increased blood echoes when you kill enemies. But it's a tier three moon rune, so I guess it gives you a lot more blood echoes. So useful for farming in New Game Plus, I guess. Um, so it's not like a boss fight or anything. In fact, apparently it's helpless. You just attack it a few times, so I'm not disappointed. But yeah, dude, that, that shit is useful. In fact, let me just Google the make contact gesture. Because I really feel like they were implying you're supposed to do it earlier in the game. No, that's it. That's the only time it can be used according to this wiki, is that brain of Mensis. Okay. Tie everything into itself. Um, if the make gest- if the gesture and where you first get it has some kind of lore or detail or writing that I don't remember that connects it to this brain or, or something about Mensis, then yeah, I agree. It's interconnected, it's well done, whatever. But yeah, no, you don't put something in a game. Well, <laughs> I'll get to that in a second. Normally, you don't put something in a game unless it's for a reason, right? You always think it's for a reason. Funny enough, I say that the very first Dark Souls, you know, you choose your starting item. Oh, you choose your starting item and you can use the, like, the master key. You can use ex like little explosive bombs. You can choose any like basic ass starting item, usually pretty basic stuff. There's one that literally is this. I don't know if it's a doll or something. It's literally described like, useless has no use. And gamers for the longest time were like, this is an RPG, this has to be something, right? We'll pick it anyway, so on and so forth. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfer. And but it turns out, um Oh, don't you worry. That's uh that's not the case. It's truly in the game it does nothing. You may think it all. So he gives me a beast blood transfusion, and then the night the hunter's dream starts, or I become a hunter. Oh, well, that would explain why I'm immune to the blight or to the the curse that's cursing everyone else and turning them into these creatures and everything. God, I want to know so much about the lore. I do think the lore in this game is better than the other Souls games, but it's just. I'm still confused. It's still hard to tell. The themes, though. The music and the setting and the themes are so good in this game. And the gameplay is so polished. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So, like, that's a... And I, maybe I said that when I first started the game. That's, like, a representation of either the transfusion going bad... Or just one of the beasts trying to infect you. But you're immune. And are these representations of the shit in your blood that's protecting you, maybe? Or oh, these are the little messengers. Maybe messengers only can be seen by hunters? You found yourself a hunter. I don't know. Yosefka's clinic. Oh, New Game Plus. How I have pretty much never played thee in any Dark Souls game. They are the little boys. Two hundred and thirty thousand souls. Holy shit! I guess it did just beat like three-ish bosses in a row. Well, the body's eating is still moving.
No body, no. All right, guys, very good. Very, very, very good. Do I have just a camera scene that looks all right? But you guys had game audio. I don't think it's turned on in this scene, but you can just hear the Bloodborne music while talking. Oh, we did it. We're way over leveled. So let me let me think about this. You like this one? You like what one? You like this baby boy over here? Blood Bowern. All bosses. I don't want it alphabetical. I'm going to type all bosses in order. This view. All right. Cleric beast on the bridge. I remember being annoying a few times, like like frustrating but i think i beat him second or third try maybe something close father gascoigne was definitely kind of annoying but once i embraced bloodborne game style and was like okay i need to dodge and then slap him like bloodborne since it's less since there's no blocking and it's all about dodging and shit i feel like and you can heal up the small amounts of damage you've recently taken i feel like it 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 just has such a greedy or such a What's the word? Um, you are... What's the opposite of punished? God, my brain isn't working. Um, you are rewarded for being greedy. So once I realized that, I think I beat him in like 10 tries or, or, or around that. 8 tries, 10 tries, 12 tries. Because I would just dodge and then go up and smack him like 4 times. But my first few tries, I'm playing like Dark Souls and I'm like dodging and smacking him once or twice. Vicar Amelia, I beat in one try. Bloodstar Beast was pretty hard, but still, I don't think very, not like more than five tries. Witch of Hemrick was easy. Dark Beast Parl, that was the first one that I was like, okay, this is actually legit. He's a big, tall boy, kind of like um, the Cleric Beast, but he had electric attacks, if you remember, if you remember. It's a good view of the boy. Um... Dark Beast Parl was definitely um, a tough one. Shadow of Yarnum. What was that? Show me an image, fool. Oh, these are the three. These are the three guys with samurai swords. Okay, this was pretty annoying. This was pretty, this took me like a dozen tries. I kept trying to put that pillar between me and the range dude and take out the melee dudes, but then after you kill one of them, I think, the other two get buffed up. It was kind of tough. They're in cloaks. I, I kind of fought enemies just like them at the end of the game. Um, Rom the Vacuous Spider, kind of annoying. Um, the one reborn, the big thing that was annoying because of the women up on the up on the ledges. That was so annoying. Multiple things trying to hit you. Um, uh, 
Martyr Logarius was such a dope fight. That took me like five ish tries, but that was a dope fight. Um, Amygdala took me two tries. Celestial Emissary took me a few tries. Um, once I got him to walk up on the high ground away from the plants where the little guys were spawning, I fucked him up. Ebrietta, Daughter of the Cosmos. I don't remember that one. Ebrietas. Oh, that was a pretty annoying fight. I think Will was telling me that Griner hit a hard wall there. And it took me a decent, it took me like six tries or something. It, it, it was kind of hard. You guys saw Mikolash. That wasn't that hard. You guys saw Murgo's Wet Nurse. I don't think that should have taken me two tries. Um, Garam and then Garman and Moon Presence took me one try, but that's because I'm overleveled because DLC. Now let's get the DLC. Living Failures, that was pretty basic. Lawrence the First Vicar. I mean, fun, okay fight, but I'd be done first try. But Lady Maria took a few tries. Very fun, cool fight. She's cool. Her obviously I used her weapon. Ludwig the Accursed slash Ludwig the Holy Blade and Orphan of Cost. Those both took me so many tries. I mean, Ludwig took me like three hours, right? So, I mean, who knows how many tries that was. I could have been like 60 tries. Orphan of Cost took me an hour the second time. And I think I practiced it for over an hour the first time. So that probably took me like 40 or more tries. Those were some tough-ass, I-hate-myself bosses. But it makes sense. They're in the DLC. I almost want to do a stream of just lore videos, but I'll do that on my computer when I'm like sitting right in front of a camera and I can show my computer screen and stuff. Or maybe I won't do that at all, I'll just watch lore videos myself, GG. Alright guys, well I guess turn off the stream, turn off the view of the good boy. Good gray hair boy, you can actually see it's gray now. With purple tints or whatever. Oh, we did it, Bloodborne. That was, a, that was like, I don't know man. 10 streams, 12 streams. Oh yeah, let's see how many hours. Probably 50. 47 hours and 14 minutes. What's up, man? I, I just finished Bloodborne. You missed credits by like eight minutes. What do now? I guess get computers ready downstairs, pack up more stuff for me moving, eat a, eat a, eat a mochi ice cream thing. But how you doing, Ryan? What's good? Are you streaming? Who's streaming? Yeah, yep, yep. You, yeah, you missed it by like less than 10 minutes for real. You barely missed it, boss. But I knew I was that close because I just finished the DLC two nights ago. Two nights ago? Yeah. That was tough, man. I just talked about all the bosses in the game and holy fuck, that was tough. Two DLC bosses were like kicking my ass dozens of tries. Schley streaming, I could raid him. Back into watching StarCraft? Oh, baby. Taste Tostas hasn't changed a bit. Yeah, they're the bomb. Best casting Archon in existence. I'm gonna get ready to raid Schley. He's, uh, he's streaming Frogger, and he actually raided me the other night, so... Nice of him. Um... He does... Make sure I smelled it right. Spelled it right. He does classic games and speed runs of them and such. Um, he did a lot of um, Donkey Kong Country and shit like that. Yeah, dude, StarCraft, man. God, I've been wanting to get back into StarCraft um, more than just, you know, a game or two every few weeks. Um, 
funny enough, those games or two I've played every few weeks the past month or two, I've like won them. It's kind of funny. And one of them was spicy. And then I did DTs and came back. But anyway, um, I've just been busy with the new Monster Hunter and I've been busy trying to finish this game and I'm about to move. But once I move, other than like professional and like schooling stuff and whatever and watching TV shows, I'll be back at StarCraft and, and such and other kinds of streams, StarCraft streams. So it'll be fun. All right, let's hit the raid Schley button. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Say hi to Schley for me. Even if you don't want to watch him, just say hi and then peace out. And, uh, yep. Much love. It doesn't seem that hard. Like